I had been the Harvard stringer for the Boston Herald, which was the sort of number two daily paper uh, in Boston behind the Boston Globe. And they had printed a lot of my stories because Harvard was a big newsmaker in the Boston area. And those were the days of the student protests against the war. And so they were interested, the Herald printed my stuff because there was news. So we're talking about 1968. 67, 68. I graduated in 68, um, which was, you know, a big peak in the rise of student protests. Uh, uh, Secretary McNamara, the defense secretary, had come to Harvard, and students had blockaded him in the room in which he was speaking, and that was, you know, a major kind of scandal. Uh, and big page one news around the country, and I wrote that for the Herald. Anyway, to my um, somewhat surprise, to my naive self, uh, the Herald wouldn't even give me an interview, and neither would the Globe, because they didn't hire women. There were no women in the newsroom. There might have been a few as society columnists or something. I mean, there were, I think. But um, couldn't even get a foot in the door there. Tried a few other Boston area publications, because I, you know, being a New Englander, I had the notion Boston would be a nice place to live. Um, so I didn't know what I was going to do when I took the civil service exam. I thought maybe I'd come to Washington and, uh, you know, work for the government. Uh, and then somebody told me that James Reston, who then was probably the most famous political columnist in the country, had his own little internship that he had modeled after a Supreme Court clerkship where he would take a kid every year graduating from college with college newspaper experience to work for him. So I wrote him a letter. And to my great delight, he invited me down for an interview and, um, and hired me. He had never hired a woman, but the problem was um, the Vietnam draft was on. And he had had a couple of guys drafted out from under him. So that opened his mind, I think, to the possibility of maybe having a woman work for him. So um, I like to say I owe my career to the war in Vietnam.